morning. Happy switch up Saturday. And the hair looks horrible, but you know, that's okay. That's, that's kind of what we go through when we wake up. <laughs> I'll get it done up a little bit nicer at some point today, but it was actually looking pretty good most of the week with these um, new layers in. So I can stop complaining about my hair all the time. So there's that. Uh, these didn't wear too badly. They're wearing okay. So doing all, doing all right with the one coat hollow taco or one color hollow taco thing. Anywho, um, I think I mentioned at the end of last week that, or maybe at the beginning of last week, I can't remember when, <laughs> when I said it in the video, but um, that I went on Instagram and was trying to start posting um, more and content. And I'll tell you what has started to happen. And it it's kind of one of the reasons why I was, I've, kind of ditched most social media because it just it just irritates me on so many levels <laughs> so I started posting and you know of course there was the lovely people that we associate you know Dee Dee, Craig, um, Jackie all you know people saying you know our our, our um, colleagues here and on YouTube saying nice things hi or I love this or whatever um, which is great but in the DMs in the DMs, there are, um, and I, I mean, you can call me whatever you want, you know, I don't care, but what always has given me just what makes me want to become a recluse and just step away is this, the hit, getting hit on, getting, you know, and, and I sh should I, I should probably feel flattered that somebody is sending me the things that they've been sending, and maybe other people are. Maybe that's what they're looking for when they post things. I'm not looking for I'm not looking for attention in on um, in that way. And the some of it's very almost innocent, you know, like hey, beautiful, hey, whatever. But some of it's overtly just you know slimy and scummy and just I'm not looking I'm a married woman <laughs> I'm not looking for anything like that and it just irritates me and um I mean it's not just on Instagram that's just one place that, that it happens but I'm, I've had that happen on LinkedIn for God's sakes so I'm like um hi I'm looking for a job or I'm not even looking for a job I just have my profile up there for work and it's like why are you just sending me this it's like I don't have any there's nothing anywhere that remotely is advertising wanting <laughs> that, that you know at all and you know I know I normally just like block or ignore or whatever but it just it just bothers me it's like there's places for that and if I was actively looking for that attention or that um companionship I guess is the word <laughs> I would say so clearly and it would not be a problem to receive that kind of communication but to to post like here's my bag of the day or week or I happen to be doing something and to get that type of um you know interaction just <sighs> it makes me not want to do it and there's sometimes where I didn't want to do YouTube because I was afraid of that being the initial um response to it and that's kind of why stuff's a, a big part of like you know vlogmas and vlogs and, and things in general is because it's like just making it very clear <laughs> been married it, we officially hit 20 years this year of marriage been together longer than that but 20 years of marriage is just like that there no I no. <laughs> no, no 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 thank you no um that's not what you know I'm here for friends I'm here to you know indulge in my you know I guess vices that I have here and that's it and it just was like oh for god's sakes why am I doing this 
so I, I'll, you know, I'll keep at it, but that's just kind of where I've been the last couple weeks with, with that is like, I'll do a couple of posts and then I know that here they come. <laughs> I was thinking I was gonna get like this. I have I have the you know a few of the you know resale you know um, faux handbag folks reaching out as well, which is a whole nother um, can of worms. But that's that's easy enough to be like, nope, sorry, not interested. Bye bye. But this just it's, it's just a thing. So and I have my own little drama, my own little problem with it. I just don't care for it. So. I'm more than happy to chat with you, communicate, whatever you, if you're wanting to be friends, that's great, but <laughs> that's it. Anyhow, I blab on along about that. We're going to you know, pick our fragrances out for the week. We're going to pick out the bag of the week. Um, uh, it will be something that somebody, one of my friends, friend, let's just say friend that I met through YouTube and other um, methods that um, will be excited to see the bag of the week because I've already picked it out. Um, so that's coming up. And, you know, I, I enjoy interacting with everybody through this platform and th those who share the common interests of these things that we love. <laughs> See you over there. Okay, so this was the tray of the former week and I did use everything at least once. I didn't care for, whoops, I didn't care for um, Eden Rock. Um, it was because of, again, it's in the dabber bottle. I need to um, find another way to get these um, decanted so I can use them um, more easily. So I, I wore it and then I ended up supplementing it with um, I remember what it was with um Skylar over there so it's it's fine but I, I just need to find a different way to put it on um everything else again I wore orange sanguine a couple of times um everything else was just kind of once so this one ended up being pretty heavy again um the whispers of guidance is a pretty heavy floral. I don't mind it and it just depends on the day. I suffer from migraines a lot and I just have to be really careful and I was lucky that the day I wore it, it was a day that I guess things went well. So I was able to wear it without um, any repercussions. This one I was a little bit disappointed in. While I like Jo Malone's um, fragrances, that one I don't know why, but when I wore it, it was just giving me not potpourri, but like heavy, soapy, um, just like it was, it's fresh and clean, but it was just way too, you know, household clean smelling than something I want to have on my body. So it just didn't give me warm and fuzzy feelings. So I wasn't excited about wearing that one. Um, and then this was, this was fine. You know, it just, I like whispers of admiration. It's probably one of my favorite ones, um, next to, uh, whispers of truth. Oh yeah. So it's just, you know, the whispers line was a very interesting line. I have a video about reviewing all the different scents they had. And I wish I would have picked up the whispers of truth, but I ended up just with, um, whispers of guidance. And then I also have, um, whispers of innocence, the white one. Um, the purple one was um, whispers of strengths. I had hoped I would have liked, but it actually, um, was way too floral. I have a sample of it. Let me grab it right here. So this one is way too floral and it's beautiful bottle, but it's just a little too much. And it's because Jasmine, Jasmine and I have a love hate relationship. So let's get these put away and I'll pick another set for the week.
Okay, so speaking of whispers of truth, I forgot I had just some refills, so I'm going to put it into my um, case, the very first case I ever got from House of Siage that actually usually houses my Passion de l'Amour. Um, so I'm going to put those together. And then I thought I'm, I'm going to go with a lot of gourmand um, scents this week with a vanilla theme is common through most of these. So Contremois is my all-time favorite perfume and I rarely wear it because I have so little of it and it's discontinued and I love it so much, but I'm going to splurge this week. Okay, all the Sweet Diamond, Pink Pepper, also vanilla, but, but spicy. Orchidy Vanilla from Van Cleef's and Arpel, a really beautiful vanilla scent. And then this one is Tobacco Vanilla from Tom Ford. And that one I rarely bring out. I like it. It's just a very um, spicy, again, tobacco laden, leathery kind of scent. It's a little heavy for this time of year, but I just, I don't know. Something about this layout is just giving me some comfort. And I think that's what I need this week. Okay. So as I mentioned, the wear on this cheap champagne was not great but not horrible either but I liked that it was just a one and done color so we are going to continue that theme I think with something very simple This is totally not this time of year, but I really don't care. I believe this is Spirit Fingers. Yes, Spirit Fingers. This is from the Sophia collab, and it's like the gray, a grayish purple with red sparkle. And I just, you know, I just feel like wearing that. So Halloween in June. Okay, we had a wonderful week with Hammy, and I need another couple of these in my life. So I'm going to be scouring the Poshmark, eBay, whatever world out there to find another one for the collection. So this is not going anywhere. It housed everything and then some. everything out. My phone actually is elsewhere, so I'll go grab that. But let's make sure that everything is out that is there. So let's do a better job of storing this away. I need to put this somewhere that's more accessible so I use it more often. Probably should get one of those designer, organizer, what do I have in my collection things. Okay, shout out to Don Donuts who has been asking me about this bag for <laughs> a while now, several weeks. And I am finally going to take her out for a run. Um, this is the Farah from Ralph Lauren. I paid $207.19 for her. And normal $325 is the price. So I'm finally going to take it out for a run. I actually, for the longest time, thought... Maybe I'd exchange it or return it, but I ended up taking the tags off of it. So they're in here, but I, it, it's a great bag. It's zipper compartment, zipper compartment, two open, 
compartments, one slip pocket here, and then a nice back magnetic closed back pocket there. Incredibly spacious from what I'm told from others who have the bag. So I think it's going to be a pretty lovely um, use for this week. So let's pack her up with the huge Sunny's put coin in there. Put the catch all in the front here. Okay, one back there, wallet in the middle, I think, yep, in the middle, main car key here in the front, that then leaves phone, could go here. Option one. Option two could go there. Let's pick it. And that's probably what we'll end up doing. Phone back there. Incredibly spacious. We're at a five ish at the bottom, just into about three and a half there. We are at about 11, uh, 10 and 3 quarters, 7 eighths actually, and then 9 and a half at the top. Very lovely strap. This will be the bag of the week. I think. We're doing well. She's heavy. She's that's a lot in her. So I might, you know, not carry the second car keys, not carry the sunnies. Yeah, let's see how heavy that is without those two. Barely any difference. So you pack her full, you pack her a little bit light, it's gonna be the same amount of, of weight. It's really the bag. Um, but yeah, we will carry her for the week. Okay, so we're wrapping it up. I did my nails. So we have two coats of spirit fingers. <laughs> spirit fingers um on and I I really do like this color it's not as um fall and Halloweeny. it's really gray in my opinion it's got red flakes supposedly in it but um a red glitter but I don't think it shows up very much when I just do like these sheer layers anyway I really like it so I'm I'm a fan it's the Sophia uh, collaboration. I believe it was limited edition and no longer available, but she brings stuff back from the archives every so often, but I really enjoyed that one. Um, so in the Ralph Lauren bag for the week, so that's going to be fun to carry around. I've been just kind of having it sit there on the sidelines for uh, still just been sitting in the bag, basically waiting to be Un unbox no I mean I did the reveal when I went shopping several weeks ago but I I kind of just had it sitting aside and didn't take the tags off or anything until um just now because I wanted to use some of the other um bags that I had so um I think last week I said that I was my final MK bag. It's not technically the fun. It's just the one, last one I'm going to use right now. The other two that I have, I always carry when I carry them in the fall. So I have a, um, and I think I showed it uh, several weeks ago, like a, um, a Hamilton that's in the squishy leather. That's a, um, 
that brown tone color and then I have it wrapped with um, some twillies and then I have a black one with silver hardware as well that I only bring out really in the winter time it's actually Stefan's favorite bag I think if you if you were here at Vlogmas he that's one of the ones he rated as one of his top bags is what he bought he bought me that one so he's very he's very fond of um the one the few bags that he has bought me over the years is playing a couple um yeah so once they hit a certain price point he doesn't he doesn't shop for things that's that's my my thing but that was one that he did buy me that was relatively high end in his opinion more than he likes to spend <laughs> so you know kudos to him for for indulging me and buying me something and um I had to laugh because um I was looking at it through Facebook to try to find a picture of it and the when I did it I posted with oh my god my bag comes with skincare <laughs> And when they sold it to him, they sold him, um, you know, like this treatment lotion, like a cleaner and a leather care thing. And it's like when the, it was just, it was just funny to me because I don't, I, I don't care for my bags the way they should be. But that one, I was very like, just whatever they told him to do. I was like on point with it. The first like two years I carried it, like it had to get wiped down and moisturized and just taken care of just so I was so in love with it at the time. So anyway, just side note. So I hope you all have a great week. I hope my hair starts to behave and get into its um, new environment. Um, it's going to be, I think, warm. What is it going to be about warm again? It's been warm the last couple days. I think we're still going to be warm for a couple more days. We'll see what summer brings us. I am so glad you're here. I guess follow me over on Instagram. <laughs> you may see me there. You might see me doing stuff here and there, but we'll see how it goes. Take care, y'all. See you next week.